Welcome to the part six of the puzzle niches. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa, and I'm always here. I'm your friend, and uh, we are doing niches today. I keep on doing niches because I know and I've seen the power of niches in my categories of books, whereby I stopped worrying and I just started learning about different niches. And I'm going to share some of the niches with you in the puzzles niche. If you are new to this, my name is Ibrahim Mustafa. Once again, subscribe and uh, talk about KDP publishing. And for now, I'm focusing on the low content and low content publishing books whereby we do planners, we publish planners, interiors, notebooks, journals, puzzle books, coloring books, just to get traction, also make sales. In the near future, I'll be doing fiction and non-fictional books because I have like non-fictional books too, kind of books and I'm making gains there. But for now, let's go to the puzzle books and niches. So the number one of for this, uh niche section is the ultimate brain health puzzle book for adults the ultimate brain health puzzle <coughs> puzzle book for adults so you can see that this like talks about and uh brains and uh, it keeps people you can see <coughs> there are a lot of books here and this is a lot like a niche that people you can see different people are publishing this and uh you can get some traction here ultimate mind games so it targets the minds and stuff for people and you can also get gains so let's look at the inside feature of this I'm talking about warm ups, hard ones, tough ones. Hey, not this type. I cannot do this. Okay, so this is my world. I mean, so this is like I mean, I look for it. I'm looking for I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> Today, all the armies are dodging me. I'm. Uh, so that is uh, that's how interesting it is. If you have your friends and you are playing this, you try to see who goes faster. And I've had instances where by one person order like twenty of uh, like puzzle books, and you just know that they are going to play games of their friends. They are going to compete in a class and stuff, and they just wanted books to play this game. So you can also look at that and publish. The second in this niche category in this puzzles niche t for today is the language lovers puzzle book language lovers puzzle books so this is like language lovers and there's a niche that is like targeting this ones too there's a niche that is targeting this type of niches to criminal mind puzzles puzzle ninja jeopardy challenge and stuff so also look at that, look at how you can put in content to target this and use this niche and uh, you can use it as keywords. You can also use this as p p potential niche to look, but do your research to see if the word is not patented, the title is not patented. And if it is patented, try to see how best you can get into their keywords and know what they are using to make more sales. So, so the things they have. I think this is more technical. But then look at possibly how you can also look at creating content in terms of this. So the second, the third in this niche is the mother-daughter puzzle. Mother-daughter puzzle. So there are puzzles too that uh, for mothers of difficult daughters, daily April wear search, a holiday celebration. And, uh, just put in more. Just put in it like, so you check and see what they are also talking about. Because <coughs> they are equally making sales. 
and you target that. What type of words are this like? Uh, bring the puzzles and stop long talks. Well, this is a fictional book. Now, so let's go to the puzzles. And uh, okay, so th these are like the, the, the puzzles. These are the puzzles. Puzzle woman, Jimbo wear search and stuff. So also just look at this and uh, see what they are targeting. And also target that uh, make sales. Yeah, that's the importance. And the fourth one in this category today <coughs> is the ultimate baseball crossword collection. So you can see that this is like in a sports niche by targeting baseball. So let's go inside to see what exactly are they puzzling about. So it's like this. And now uh, you can also just learn into this. My intention is to let you learn into it first before you put in content. Don't just go and say you want to put in content without learning into the niche and the industry. So learn into it and put in more content to be able to target because if the sports lovers are looking at this, you can equally do basketball like this. But then this is like a niche that a lot of people are publishing in and they are thinking about it. So you see that people are more advanced in terms of research and niches. So they are putting in content to target book people in this type of uh, industries. And the last for today in the past six is in the, in the category of niches. Is the ultimate maze book. Ultimate maze book. The ultimate maze book. And uh, you have niches there, which you can also put in content. And look at ways you can create opportunities for this. The ultimate puzzle book. And the maze book, uh, I have to start learning the maze book the like not puzzles so that we and the, me and my youtube fans will compete on one of this to see who is the winner who is going to win but i would prefer word search because if it's maze there yeah, you may win right so it's like that and uh, you can put in books to be able to like capture people's attention and uh, so that's where we end this for today that's the part six. If you have not watched the part, the other parts, the other puzzle niches, go back to the first niche, part one, part two, part three, like this, and watch all of them. So my aim is to help you expand in terms of niches, to give you more opportunities. And that's just my harmless aim, to help you with more niches. So if you are new, subscribe to this channel. And if you want to if you want to know something, just send me a message and I'll help you do it. Research about it and come and share with you. I've been publishing and there's benefits in publishing. Thank you very much and uh see you in the next video.